again to Adventure Story Channel video. Today, my dear friends, we will make a video about the inner gas system. And first of all, I'd like to thank you that you have joined this channel and also your thumbs is always on the top. We will see in detail the IGS system. We will see what is the weak points of the system and what to be careful and also how to keep this system as much as possible in good condition. First of all, also, I'd like to share my experience in dry docking. Uh, it's really, really important when you're going in dry docking and also if there is any repairs for the IGS system before, you should get a good uh, photographic, uh, let's say, library. So uh, if there will be any kind of modifications, you'll be able to trace any kind of uh, the parts that was removed or changed position. This is really, really important. In our situation, uh, on the dry dock, we have some problem with the uptake valves of uh, the boiler. Uh, the yard forget to install them. So there was totally uh, missing. And this kind of valves are set it uh, somewhere here. Yes, this is DN600 and this is where uh, they are placed. This is two of them. So our exhaust gases are coming from here, from this uh, side, from the boiler A and from the boiler uh, B. We have two boilers. Uh, our gases are travel here, are passing this uh, flexible bellow and then entrance from here and then our valves will be activated. Some of the uptake valves that we have selected and this is where uh, it's controlled by a PLC module. So we have uh, the information of the channel that control this kind of valve and we have uh, some other details here so from the size also we can understand if this valve is big or small as you can see here in this section we have 600 and 400 and directly you can compare uh, the sizes between them so also we can see that uh, we have also some supply of air from the forced draft fans. There is one pipe which also sent air here. But for what reason we sent the gases from here and air from here? Okay, uh, you need to understand that this air and this valve will be activated only uh, when the system is not working. So it sent some sealing air to this kind of pipe. So if we have any kind of leakages from this valve, uh, there is not any kind of uh, exhaust gases will travel here and enter this space. So this is some kind of uh, protection and this is some kind of a uh, ceiling that provides that and also ensures that not any gases will enter when the system is stopped and also when our scrubber pump uh, is not working, which is located here. So our scrubber pump will suction from here, from the C chest. Our C chest will be below here. As you can see, there is filters, which also is necessary for cleaning. And as you can see, our pump, which indicates here the motor, sends the water here and the water will enter here there is some nozzles also there is a valve which is actuated by the system and also we will have a valve which sends to the scrubber we have some alarms some pressure indicators they are local uh, some pressure alarms special alarm high which uh, all the parameters will be received from here, from this line. Another thing, another weak point that uh, I have identified here is that we have a lot of uh, holes here on the bottom side because there is always water remain 
and it's a very very good solution from here to be drained when you are storing your uh, scrubber system for two or three months is not operative so as much as possible drain everything there and uh, wash with fresh water because uh, okay here there is not any access there is not any access for here the only access will be here from this and also that is a really really weak point of this system that you need to remove this cover uh, vertically and it's also really really difficult to remove and uh, the crew spent a lot of time uh, rather than having a inspection uh, door here on the side so you'll be easy to enter and also bottom bottom uh, weldings are more prone for rust formulation and dissolve also uh, as the gas is coming here uh, you just can imagine what we'll have here and what pH will be in here uh, this kind of uh, sulfuric uh, acid that <laughs> will be created there will damage everything really every coating and every uh, material so also here we have our cooling tower we have a lot of filtering system here as uh, our scrubber scrubber uh, gases will be travel in the next stage of uh, the blower where the blower will be uh, suction our cooled gases and cleaned and before that uh, all the water that entering here will be uh, drained overboard through this valve and also uh, there is a valve here which also operated by the PLC this is a valve which is operated manual so when I enter the vessel and uh, we the, for the first time start the IGS we get some problem due to this valve uh, we get the problem with the temperature of uh, the IGS we had a high temperature because this valve here was operated uh, in closed position it was 90% to closed position so <laughs> when I explained that this valve must be fully open to have a full circulation of the water uh, and the level also was really really high uh, the guys uh, was looking at me that time was coming from uh, the space something like that <laughs> so this valve always must be fully open and it's not necessary to keep uh, closed so our cooling water will be going from here a uh, cooling uh, gas sorry and then we'll travel here and then uh, some of the gases will be uh, drawn by the oxygen analyzer and these gases will be taken from the top before the outlet to the main line so the gases for checking will passing here will passing this water filtering and then we will uh, have our measurement on the oxygen uh, analyzer also there is a calibration error which we calibrate the span and the zero adjustment so all this procedure of calibration will be done before setting the system in operation and uh, as much as possible in the calibration we need to have a proper data and measurement so we will calibrate it twice uh, as much as possible we will have a smallest and as much as a small offset of uh, the set points the high and the low set point of span and zero so our gases will be calibrated from here there is also a temperature indicator pressure indicator alarms pressure alarms um, everything is here 
also the deck pressure transmitter a lot of transmitters and also they must be checked uh, time to time because uh, as i have explained this kind of uh, oxidized material that uh, gases that travel around will make a lot of damage so here we have three fans three uh, igs blower um, for the reason that uh, in case that something will have a damage and as we get some damage some transformator burn and it's really really easy <laughs> to get some damage here on these fans and one of of them you can interchange or if some get some damage let's say some motor will be overheated or something else you will have these two uh, first time I see three of them mostly of the vessels have two that I have work uh, really three of them first of time I see that kind of system probably uh, there is working two of them or there is some smaller fans installed to this kind of vessels and another thing that we can see here if we are going to general nodes that uh, we have some steam uh, supply for cleaning these uptake valves because uh, these uptake valves where is located the seat uh, this is a painful uh, space for them so it's good opportunity to clean by the steam and there is permanent line for the cleaning so uh, one of the most affected is these uptake valves which are stacking from uh, the carbon so if you are cleaning every operation you will not get any problems and also one problem that we have faced we have faced a problem with uh, this valve here which also stacks uh, in most of the cases and also uh, the valves which is operated uh, by the PLC this is the most one affected this one okay we really really uh, difficult to get problem here because as you can see these valves it's pointing on the top so any moisture uh, will be formulated here will be dropped in the line so it's not affected so much and probably you will never pick up it in the whole life of the vessel another thing that there is some uh, transparent uh, tubes you must order also them to have in the vessel so they are affected by the heat and uh, it must be replaced in the last vessel we do not have uh, this kind of uh, tubes okay you can use also a metal tube a copper tube but you need to check to have uh, the same size also here we have a fresh water supply seven bars for cleaning of the blowers uh, after each operation you should clean uh, with fresh water and flush uh, your fans it will help as much as possible to keep them uh, with good condition and after these doors here these inspection doors left them so everything will be dry there for two days and after you can close them so another thing that uh, we can see here we can see that, that there is a fresh air intake not nine as we can see that location to be minimum 2.4 meters above area of personnel traveling and minimum 10 meters away from air intake to equipment accommodation or engine room so because uh, when we are making gas free and uh, purging on the last step of uh, this procedure we are sending a fresh air to the tanks so we can enter lately on when uh, the fresh air will clean all the atmosphere uh, on the tanks uh, this is the the latest stage so uh, the positioning and also the formation here that says that must be away because this kind of fans they have a lot of uh, suction capacity of air 
so if it will be located somewhere where the accommodation air also suction so it can intervene uh, this uh, suction between the accommodation fans and the blowers so we will get some problem in the accommodation and negative pressure inside the accommodation which we try to avoid as much as possible so you can use two of them or three of them depends your kilowatt consumption for suction the fresh air but when you are suctioning the fresh air there is also some uh, switches limit switches uh, when this switch on the cover will be activated so it will give also a signal to plc and you will see in the monitor that your uh, door here it's open so you can start your system and later on you can function all uh, these blowers like a uh, free gas operation on the operating panel if it's not working the system it's not start uh, there's uh, some kind it like it calls a interlock so you must be uh, fixing all that kind of uh, limits also my dear friends be careful because uh, most of the limits uh, if you try to touch them they will broke try as much as possible to be really really careful with them because you never know and before you touch them check that you have a spare part also my dear friends about the spare parts uh, in most of the cases because there is a lack of proper uh, housekeeping you can find some this kind some kind of these pairs on another boxes or in the boxes close to them so let's see about the knot 1b which is located here on the bottom and it says that uh, one moment 1b the associated seawater overboard discharge points downstreams of the scrubber to be four meters below the sea level at minimum operational draft condition the pipe ran after influence the drain pipelines to have continuous fall with 15 degrees minimum slope over the ship's wall trim range so there is some proper designs uh, that have been made also some regulations probably will uh, advise to make such uh, and here you can see the minimum operational draw so all the materials that created here and threw down will not be going to the surface and also affect the marine life so another good solution that i have seen uh, it's that this piping this metal pipe have already uh, replaced by a fiber pipe which is more durable and really really the pipes that uh, going from the yard it's really really impressive and the good place around the vessel and as you can see also in the community tab we have made some posts of this pipe and we compare with the one that uh, have been installed for the scrubber system it's really really big difference and the yard installation it's really really good uh, placed and really really they are uh, really professional uh, number two let's say here and all the knots are here placed let's say in number seven fresh water flushing for blow repair washing so let's note 14 let's see the note 14 for test only of salt and sulfur analyzing uh, one two inches socket it's really really nice uh, that details let's see here what else so when we are have our system ready and the exhaust gas is uh, flowing here cleaning uh, transferring by these pumps here uh, most of uh, percentage are going here to the atmosphere in the beginning so also we have seen that there is also differences when you are setting uh, your gases to the atmosphere and when you are setting setting them to the main line 
Okay, also the percentage that you can send inside the tanks must be less than eight. So higher than eight, than eight your system will be tripped. And you can start uh, below eight, you can start to send inside and as you can monitor as your system will be work you will see that your uh, percentage will slowly drop if your system is working fine another thing that uh, you need a monitor is your boiler load and also a very very good solution to see if your boiler are working fine it's here on this water and uh, if this water and filters here became dirty that means your boiler are working uh, too much smoky in smoky uh, condition so there must be some uh, adjustments between air and fuel ratio only this is uh, the only things that you need should, uh, to do um, another thing that uh, we can see here a number three note and let's spot this note here uh, it says that it is recommended that the shaft of the butterfly valve should be installed horizontally check after installation that the valve disc can be operated due to verifying flange pipe schedule motor shafts to be oriented ship longitude so this one, uh, number four, the motor shafts to be orientated, ships longitude. So probably they have found that uh, if the motor will be placed in uh, other orientation, they will get some problems due to vibration, uh, due to the movement of the vessel. And there is a lot of design points uh, on board the vessel we can see because the vessel itself it's a moving uh, factory and always uh, the sea environment and the sea conditions intervene to the machineries so they also will be affected from all this environment that the sea produces and uh, I believe we have covered uh, most of the items so I will get um, and I will be waiting for any kind of questions I will be really really happy to answer to all of them uh, so another thing that also I have shared in the previous videos really really important is to verify that you will not have any leakages from these valves here and you will not get uh, any air uh, sucked from the drain line because if this valve will be not closed some of the air will be dragged here and you will have a higher oxygen content identified here so also here from here it is possible if this valve will be not closing good it's possible to suction air from here so this is the points where you can share and you can search yourself uh, where you are using uh, losing your um, lines uh, and there it's uh, passing inside through your line you can check by yourself also but mostly of these checks uh, must be done when the system is not operated for this side here because here when everything is operated this kind of pipes uh, get as much as hot about uh, 160 or some kind of 360 degrees it uh, depends a lot of the boiler so you will not be able to search anything when the system is working because it's really really hot and as you can see these pipes also they are all insulated because the temperatures are really really hot there so thank you my dear friends thank you that you shared this material i hope you like this video and also don't forget to be subscribed to the channel and always press the bell button to get any kind of uh, future notifications from adventure story channel my dear friends bye bye